All right, you guys, welcome to today's video. Today, we're gonna do a full body mobility routine. Hopefully, you guys can hear me fine. We're gonna start off into a seated position. You're gonna put your feet at the same level as your hips in front of you. From here, either assisted, meaning with your hands behind you or without your hands, we're gonna drop both knees to one side. Make sure that your knees are both on the ground. They're not stacked up on top of each other. They're not misaligned, so both knees on top on the ground. You have one knee lined up with the middle of your opposite foot, and then we're gonna rotate all the way to the other side. We're gonna do this eight times. So this is three, four. Feel free to pause at any time. Feel free to do this a little bit slower if needed. Seven and eight, excellent. From here, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do eight external rotations per side. So you can put your hands on the ground if you prefer, or keep them up. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna keep the back heel down and we're just gonna bring the knee up as high up as you can without moving anything else and slowly to the ground. So eight times, two, three, good, four, four more, five, six, seven, one more. Eight, perfect. From here, bring both feet into a butterfly position, switch so that we're on the other side and we're gonna do the same thing. So open up one, two, three, four, five, three more, six, seven, one more, eight, excellent. Back to butterfly. From here, we're gonna open up one leg. I'm gonna back up, make sure you guys see me. I don't have my glasses, but I believe I'm in frame. I see something. So we're gonna back up. One leg is in a butterfly position, one leg's out front. And from here, you're gonna lift this leg up as high as you can, pause for half a second, back down. If needed, if your flexibility allows for it, you could do it assisted. You do need to be flexible enough to go reach your toes for that, but unassisted is better. We can have our hands on the ground. You can have your hands wherever. So we're gonna do this six times per side two try also not to give momentum so this doesn't do much for your hips what we want is for everything to stay stable and then everything the entire movement comes from your hip joint this is going to require a lot of hip flexors five six we're going to switch sides one two three three more four five and six perfect back into our butterfly position now from here feel free to switch whichever way you prefer but we're gonna go into a frog position so frog position your feet are together your knees are apart it's kind of like the beginning of the child's pose stretch you're gonna put your hands far in front make sure your elbows are not hyperextended so arms are straight we're gonna rock forward until your shoulders are over your wrists rock back until your butt touches your heels we're gonna do this eight times two three if it's too hard you can try to widen your stance you don't have to go all the way down five six seven one more eight awesome from here we're gonna move on to a little bit of upper body so you're gonna get yourself in this quadruped position quadruped position is when your hands are right underneath your shoulders your knees are gonna be right underneath your hips make sure your back is neutral we're gonna take one arm you're gonna come place the elbow on the ground and then go stack it on top of the other arm so we're gonna do this eight times two I call these chest openers three four five better if you tie your hair six seven and one more eight excellent we're gonna do the same thing on the other side so other hand behind your head one two three five more four five six two more seven and last one eight perfect from here you're gonna bring yourself into a deep squat position if possible if not it can be a regular squat if not it can be standing up it can be an assisted squat you can hold on to a t-rex if needed you can hold on to a squat rack to any furniture you have at home so we're gonna bring ourselves into the squat rack position here hold for a couple of seconds 
This is only going to be possible if you're able to hold your deep squat. If it's not the case, feel free to skip this one. We're going to put your hands down on the floor. It can be underneath your toes, on your ankles, whatever you prefer. The idea is that you have a grip on something and we're going to slowly extend your hips until you feel a nice stretch in your hamstrings and we're going to go back down. We're going to do this eight times. Two, back down, three, four, five, six, let's do two more, seven, and eight. Excellent. From here, we're going to extend your hips. We're going to walk ourselves into a down dog position, so feel free to place your hands further in front your feet further in the back you're going to keep your legs slightly straight you're going to keep your back neutral we're going to push the hips back you can make it a dynamic stretch and then slowly move forward into a cobra position if cobra position is too intense it hurts it's uncomfortable you can always do half cobra instead okay it just takes you an extra second to get into place and then we're going to do this four times so number two forward number three forward and last one four forward excellent we're gonna walk ourselves back we're gonna finish up for today we're gonna keep this one quite short now for this next one you can use a broomstick um, a scarf a long shirt anything that you have that is weightless and preferably long long makes it easier if not if you have nothing like myself and you have good upper body mobility what you can do is just intertwine your fingers but always better if you're using something to start off as it makes it easier to have a wider grip I'm gonna intertwine my fingers place them over my head we're gonna finish up with eight overhead squats the goal with your stick with your hands with whatever you use you're using is to keep them as much as possible over the over the midline of your body without arching your lower back right so we don't want to be like this we want to be nice and neutral but to maintain whatever we're holding over us we're going to do eight of these so intertwine on top feet underneath your hips and we're going to go down as low as you can for you it might look something like this if you're holding an object and up two three four four more five six two more seven and eight excellent that's it for today you guys feel free to do this a second time if you felt like it was too quick and let me know in the comments if you preferred this mic'd up version or if you preferred the voiceovers that we did before have a good day